Hello there, and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, I hope that you will like, comment, subscribe, and share. And now let's get on with the video. So today I wanted to make some pages and decorate them in this junk journal that I made in about a three part series. And so I was just trying to kind of flip through it and see what I liked about it and what I didn't because it's been a couple weeks now. Um, so I actually did one page and it's a little bit crazy. I had actually painted all of it on the edges and then I added a bunch of different stuff and I'm not positive this is gonna be um, something that I'm gonna just stay with or what to do. So all the other pages are pretty blank. The only thing I did was I put some old papers on a couple areas that I just couldn't stand. So I just kind of put those. I think I'm gonna do a belly band on this one and I'll explain what that is. I just tucked a sheet in here and then glued this into a pocket. This was just a 12 by 12 that I folded over into just a folded note. So not much. Uh, in fact, I haven't done anything at all. I'm kind of been itching to get started on this. And that's why I did this kind of ugly page, I think it is, but I'll figure out what to do with it. But when you open up a junk journal, I think the first page needs to have something that catches your interest. And frankly, I think that this page is pretty shiny. See it? And because it was in a, in a map book and the colors are kind of hideous, I have to say. So I'm going to pull out my my trusty acrylic metallic bronze paint because it I, the shine is fine. I don't really care about that, but I just kind of want to put some of this on there and just add a little bit of, whoa, interest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is, welcome to crafting with Mona. This is just kind of how it goes because, you know, I probably should have a brush. Um, I probably should have, I don't know, like appropriate tools and stuff like grown-ups do, but I don't. So we're going to just go with what I have here. And, uh, you know, I, I always tell my daughter this too, that the stuff that I mess up on, it's usually what I love the most. Now, while I don't have tools here, I know I have a um, paper towel sitting here somewhere. So I'm going to just lather this bronziness on and then it, it just has, I don't know, just, it was, just was not making me feel inspired at all. So we're going to see what I end up, what this ends up looking like. And I'm going to grab my paper towel and wipe my bronze hands off and then just kind of wipe off some of this paint to make it look a little bit better. There we go. You know what, I like it better already. And now I don't have it on the edges entirely, but I don't really care about that. It's not about making it even. I just wanted it to have that, that stuff kind of taken down a notch just because it just, I don't know, it just wasn't doing it for me. Okay, so that's kind of what I wanted to do. Don't you love that? Kind of what I wanted to do. And since there's a map here, I like that, but I want to do something to the top part of it, maybe? I don't know. Okay, another thing I wanted to show today was not just how I glob paint on to my beautiful junk journals, but I also wanted to show, like, this is a, a page out of one of those massive books that I got from Michael's and it's just a 12 by 12 scrap paper pad. It has a lot of the navy um, colors that I like in it, but Home Sweet Home, I'm not going to use that. Not the way it is, just the way it, um, it has it on there. But I do love this border piece. So what I'm going to do is tear this. And if you tear towards you, you're going to get this really pretty edge. Um, on this other part here that you can use. So I always try to tear towards me. 
and I'm just gonna use that. So see, I think it's gonna look really pretty. So I could do a belly band here with this paper and a belly band sounds very offensive to me because you know, nobody wants a belly, but you do want a belly from time to time on um, junk journals. Oh, guess what? This is like almost dry already. So it's because I wiped off most of the paint. So I could do it this way, which it is going to cover up a lot of the the map, and I don't want that. I could do it on this edge here. Uh, that could be a thing. Also, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of liking the way this looks. I could even put a little pocket up on top, and then put this on there. I want this design to show though. So yeah, I like that. I just wanted it to look a little different than what it was doing. And like I said, I just didn't want to open it up to a big old map, but I do like opening it up to this super awesome bronze page now. So anyway, um, hmm, what to do? Okay, I think, I don't know, I'm like overthinking it. What I wanted to do is put a pocket down here and but then it's going to cover up this map, which I think is kind of the centerpiece. Okay, I may not even use this here. Do I use it here? That would look pretty. You know what? I, I'm liking it. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually commit to that. I like it here. So I'm going to put a pocket down here. I was kind of thinking pocket. Uh, a lot of times I'll also put something here, but then I, I stamped with this new stamper that I bought. So, okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a pocket down here. Okay, and again, I don't measure, although I probably should, but I'm not going to. There we go. I could do a smaller pocket right here or a big long one. I think I'm gonna do a smaller one. Okay, there's gonna be my pocket and then I'm going to just, I think put this here and call that good because I like that a lot. Okay, oh, you know what? I thought of something else. There's also this, but that's too bulky to put there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I like that. Okay, so what to do? Oh, and another thing I, ha I found at a thrift store was this quote stack, and it has all these, um, these are just vellum, um, Parts and pieces. I like that too. That'd be cool. Oh man, I love that. Okay, because that's going to allow that to show through. Oh, do I do this? I don't know. No, now I'm getting all questionable. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Where there's great love. Where our acts are beautiful through love. Okay, that's going to have to go in here somewhere. Come and tear that out. All right, love that. Love, love, love that. So that's got do small things with great love and then another love theme. So that's kind of cool. I, I don't know, I'm really loving this. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do both of those. Whew, decisions, so difficult to make. Um, the glue that I'm using is this art glitter. You can get it um, on Amazon, that's where I bought mine. And just this little tiny bottle goes a long way because watch, you're just going to put a tiny little amount and I'm going to use that, that rough edge as my top and you're just, you're using a tiny amount so you don't actually have to buy the big bottle. This little bottle I've had now for several months and it's, um, it's doing great. I have hardly used it um, and so I'm just, I'm just now gluing this right here down and it's gonna be a pocket. And a lot of times what I do is I actually set something in it to remind me that I made a pocket because I do need reminders. And um, I bought some, okay, I gotta tell you about this. I bought some wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree and it's got these great bicycles on it. And what I did, so you can tell it's wrapping paper and it's cheap, cheap. So it's you know, Dollar Tree, what do you expect? 
I actually ironed the paper so that it lays flat and then I cut it out and then I just glued some of the pieces, some of the, some of it on um, just like book pages and then I put one of them on a cardstock to kind of make a little, I don't know what it is, a little thingy. And so I think I'm just gonna like tuck that in here and that's gonna remind me, hey, you have a pocket there. And those go away. Okay, so this one I'm gonna um, put in here, but I'm actually gonna cut it and make the other side look like this one. And I think I'm, I am gonna do a belly band here. And this is gonna be my belly band, yeah. Okay, belly band. Let me explain what that is. So, um, belly band is this decorative piece that you can put into your junk journals. And it can be as simple as just putting a piece of vellum like this, or it can be uh, very complicated a lot of times. Um, other junk journal artists will put ribbon. They will use lace, which looks tremendously beautiful. And they will glue these kinds of things down. And I can, I'm just kind of putting the bare bones down here. So what you can do is you can actually use lace. I'm trying to find a little piece of lace. There it is. Let me add some here. You can also do some ribbon. Uh, but you know you can you can just go like that and put some lace down. I think that looks too frou frou, but I would put a flat piece of lace here uh, without a scallop edging. I don't like that at all. But that's just to show you that you could do that. And then um, what you do with a belly band is I'm not gonna put this one in here because that would look lame. Um, but what you want to do is you want to tuck pieces like this and they'll look really pretty, especially showing through the vellum. And they're just like um, placeholders for something else that you might have. So that's two pages that are done already. I think they'll look pretty nice because you want to open it up and have something that kind of catches your attention right away. So. Um, that's kind of how fast I work with with some of these things on this page what I did like I said um, you can't tell it had some really ugly pictures down here so I painted it first and then I didn't like the paint I also wanted some empty journaling space so I put that up and then I like that hilarious and I just tucked a few things in there and then I made a little pocket envelope and kind of Put some odds and ends, some washi tape. This is a coloring page. Don't know what to do with it. I may just leave it alone. Although it's got a tear. Okay, I wanna show you this. It's got a tear down here, so I need to address that. Uh, one of the best ways I do that is with washi tape. So let's see. What do I have here? Okay, I have some uh, colorful washi tape. So I'm going to just address this tear. And I really love it when I have little pieces kind of just random. So I'm, I put a little piece there and I'm going to do the same here. Because washi tape, not very strong. And you want to make sure that you're addressing any rips and tears. And so anyway, that's just going to be a little bit there for now. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, like I said but we've got some washi tape to deal with a tear up because I don't want it, it was just a weird kind of a, a page. This is gonna get stamped on. So let's just go ahead and do that now. All right, so I have some distressed ink and then I have this uh, stamp that I used in my other video, not very well. And it says, cup of tea warms the soul like a good friend. And then I have, oh, yeah, it would have been probably better to show you this part here. Some really pretty butterflies. I think I'm going to go with the butterflies. This needs to go back on there. And then grab these 
Okay. Whoa, that's all falling. I love that crinkly sound. And yes, I should have some sort of a acrylic block, but you know, I forgot about it yesterday. I was gonna grab it after my, my tea bag video, but didn't get around to it. Oh, that's a trick, by the way. I just kind of stick it to the back of my stamper and then I just use it because it just goes with my lazy approach to all of this stuff. And you got some upside down butterflies and some right side up butterflies, which I kind of like. I like that. I'm going to do them again. But how? But how? Like that? There we go. Okay. Kind of random. But not too shabby. And that's uh, not a bad place to start. Just gonna wipe my stamp off. Okay, and then put my stamp back. And okay, I have some other things. I love butterflies in my journals, and I have this piece of just some cardstock from Bow Bunny, and I'm probably gonna tuck that one in as well. But um, so um. If you've seen any of my other videos, I do love to sketch and draw, and I will do that in my uh, junk journals. And you know, that's the whole point of having a junk journal is so that you are drawing and sketching and doing things. And so uh, I wanna give this piece a little bit of movement. And so I'm going to just draw some swirlies and twirlies to show the butterflies are moving. And I'm gonna cover that piece up that kind of look bad. Um, and then you can just kind of, I don't know, add some fun little dots or something. I like working in threes. So I like the three butterflies and the three dots. And I just usually add like hearts or dots. Kind of that's in my, my doodle art. So I just, I wrote in my junk journal. Whew, sometimes just putting that little mark in there is kind of hard. Um, so there's a pocket in here and you can just tuck some ephemera in there or do whatever. I love, love, love this jaggedy edge. I don't remember what I got that bag from, but whatever it was, it was wonderful. This page, don't know what to do with it yet. This one will get stamped on. Oh, butterflies. See, told ya, love them. I love them in my junk journals as well. The other thing I like are birds. So I wanna use this paper. It's out of that same pad that was in the other one with the big um, picture. Okay, so today's belly band day apparently. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a belly band at the first of this signature. So I don't know if you remember from that first video or second video, um, I was, adding signatures and so there's two signatures in this uh three so at the start of every signature i like doing something special so we're gonna add a ribbon belly band so i'm gonna i want to show you this also this is wire ribbon and it's got these wired edges uh so what i want to do is actually cut the ribbon to the page so I'm going to do it down there uh, because I can see it better. And I'm just going to snip it down here. I just cut it a little bit shorter than what it, it's supposed to be. There it is. Okay. And then um, I don't really necessarily want these wires. I don't need them. So what I do is I either pull them out, which is super easy to do, or I'm going to just bend them because we can use the the strength here because you're going to be sliding papers in and out of this so what do i do oh yes i'm going to glue i had to think about it but what i am going to do oh man my pin disappeared what i'm going to do though is i'm going to glue some other things on top of this because i think that would look kind of cool so i just got a bunch of jewelry and uh, I think I may put a button or some, some
something something glued on there okay you're gonna have to join me in another video to figure out what that's gonna look like but I am going to go ahead and put the glue on now if you are wondering like this ribbon looks super porous which it is um, how are you gonna add stuff to this later without gluing it down um, into the journal itself because then it won't be a band anymore it'll just look like a decoration what I do is I put a piece of paper underneath and then the paper is going to catch any extra glue that might seep through so um, that's how I'm going to handle that but you can tell again this is like a nice fine line of glue that comes through I'm going to try to get that edge there and here so and the top and the bottom there's the bent wires I'm gonna put my little pin back in there there we go and oh my what did I just do oh no <laughs> oh so dumb I was gluing the edges so I'm gonna actually bend this up so it does not glue the edges. Holy moly, it's late at night, isn't it? I was getting ready to glue the whole darn thing together. Okay, that's, I'm glad I kept the wire in it. Okay, so I'm gonna just hold this part down and hope that the other part of the, I just wasted all that glue, you know, it's okay. So what I was doing, which showing you wrong, is I glued these edges. So I don't want glue there. So I'm just gonna pick that ribbon up. The nice thing about this glue is that it glues super fast. So it's not gonna be an issue. And um, okay, got these down. So don't do what I did. That's just showing you that so that you wouldn't make that mistake. So you just wanna glue down here. Let's tuck that wire back in. Glue down here and then glue up there. And then you have your belly band so that you can slip stuff inside and not do what I just did. You don't want to do that. Okay. So while we're waiting for that to glue, it's going to have something else that's going to be fun and fancy free on the middle. And let's see. Oh, yes. Okay. So I can show you this. I just made this kind of strip. Um, a fabric odds and ends with leftover pieces and what I do is I bring this out when I'm junk journaling so that I can add uh, some embellishment to it so that could be some interest there because this is blue pieces and this is my bluish journal so I could even add the whole piece there or I could just cut off this strip here and add that here you can put it on the another page or um, use it like that for something else but it's just fabric and it's just you can um, I sewed it with a zigzag stitch but what you can do is glue it as well and it's just scrap pieces from when I was making masks for people and so that's there um, as a part of decoration here's a little bit of that lace that I had actually that would look very pretty with a button I think that's how it's gonna go yeah that's good i like that so it's gonna have this with some sort of a decorative shiny on it don't know what okay so um that was a few pages and i hope that you enjoyed um my video today and why don't you join me again for some more pages oh it's from bon Mauer. there we go and um join me again and let's see what we can create at another time and i hope that you enjoyed this and i'm gonna continue to just um keep doing what i'm doing here and if i do something exciting and wonderful i will share that in another video with you until next time bye bye